Hi, my name is George Candea and I'd like to give you a brief overview of the Dependable Systems Lab at EPFL. We build systems and we're primarily interested in specialized, vertically integrated systems. Now, what's this? Well, today you can easily build a device by slapping together Linux with a bunch of open source libraries and you, know, you quickly put it on the market. Now think uh, smart home controllers, virtual reality, self-driving cars, heart rate monitors, but also things like Wi-Fi routers or cloud management systems or 5G base stations. You know, the, the cool thing about doing this is that you can take layers of code that were developed in isolation and glue them together quickly into useful and cool new products, right? But of course, this comes with major issues like security, uh, reliability, performance, energy problems, when you put a system together in this way, you're using code you've never looked at. So how do you know what it does? Like the end result is layers upon layers of bloat and ignorance, essentially. So how can we have the cake and eat it too? So how can we rapidly build cool new systems yet ensure they're reliable, secure, and, and have high performance? Well, we think the answer lies in automated specialization and vertical integration. For example, when you build a network device, your operating system should be tailored to the hardware as well as to the functionality that device is providing. It doesn't make sense to shove all of Linux into the device and then suffer from all these vulnerabilities and performance quirks. Just you know, take what you need and chuck all the rest. But you know, can all these developers who are working on cool new gadgets hack operating systems? Well, of course not. So we need to provide domain-specific operating systems along with tool chains that can automatically specialize code and ensure it does the right thing. So you can use off-the-shelf libraries and operating systems with the confidence that they work the way you expect them to. In my lab, you know, we're at our core, our research area is in operating systems. So we tend to publish in the traditional systems venues like SOSP, OSDI, SICOM, NSDI. But of course, to build secure and reliable vertically integrated system, we work with other domain experts. So let me give you an example from a recent and very fruitful collaboration. Uh, we started from the question of what would it take to build the perfect home router, meaning one that is guaranteed secure, has high performance, and is perfectly reliable, meaning that it comes with a formal proof of correctness. Now, a home router, you know, it provides all sorts of different network functions like network address translation, firewalling, provides switching, and so on. So three, about, yeah, three years ago, we published and released as open source the first network address translator that was both high performance and formally proven to be free of bugs. And then last year we published and released Vigor, which is a general framework for developing network functions that are truly vertically integrated, which means that all the software from device drivers up through the operating system, libraries, and application code is automatically customized and formally verified to be correct and secure. And this required thinking very deeply about system abstractions and the interfaces between the different layers. So the, this, the resulting Vigor uh, stack that network functions run on essentially executes less than 2,000 lines of code for the Vigor library and about 5,000 lines of code in a new domain-specific operating system along with the network device driver. It uses an off-the-shelf packet processing framework of which it automatically trims down the executable code by more than an order of magnitude down to a few thousand lines. So you have a few thousand lines of code in the entire stack versus what you currently get in, in traditional stacks, which are you know, tens of millions of lines of code, which you have no idea whether they work correctly. So this, this is the result of automatic specialization to the network function running atop the stack, running the stack on the code that's needed. And the entire Vigor software stack, including the network functions that you run on top, are automatically verified by the Vigor toolchain in a push-button manner. And so on top of this, network functions built with Vigor get performance that is at least as good, if not better, than the other flaky systems, the traditional ones. So performance, um, that's actually an interesting problem. 
uh, how does a system builder think about performance? In mean, functionality, it's pretty clear. You have interfaces to things like a file system. It's very clear how you open, create, delete, write, or read files, and you can verify that. But how do you incorporate performance in the interface of a system? What does a performance interface look like? Right? This is a fundamental question in system design. So we're working on this, and we introduced the notion of performance contracts last year, and we're working now on a more general answer to this. But beyond reasoning about performance, we also think of ways to improve system performance. Like, for instance, we're thinking, rethinking the network driver and switching from the traditional dual packet ring architecture to one that is a more natural fit for high-speed network processing. And so far, the results are promising. We, we've been able to get up to a five-fold improvement in raw performance. So you see, it's a mix of a number of different things to, to get to this. And hopefully this gives you a sense of what we do in the Dependable Systems Lab. Um, we care about reliability, security, and performance. And, you know, first and foremost, we build vertically integrated systems. And to do this, we hack on operating systems. We dabble in security, programming languages, verification, networking, a bunch of other areas in which we like to collaborate with others. Um, we are coders. So we build real stuff that we release as open source and we love to write tools. So I hope you come to EPFL and bring your own ideas to help us solve fundamental problems in systems.